And this is for those of us who believe that you ought to stay home when the devil got you bound up in some stuff. Uh-huh. When you are going through, as we like to say, Sister Lawan, you know, going through. But I come from the day in church where you came to church to get through. Lord have mercy. I came from the day where you came to church and it didn't matter who knew your business. Didn't matter how you had to go through to get there. As soon as the door was open, you were there because there was strength among the saints. Oh God, and our purpose for this 30 day church challenge is to become like the early church and not forsake coming together and holding one another up because when the devil comes your way, not if, but when the devil comes your way, Acts chapter 16, verse number 24 through verse number 26 tell us about when Paul and Silas were locked in jail. They were in bondage. Tell somebody together. I want you to know that even though you might be going through and even though you might be struggling it's the devil's lie that has you to believe that you're going through by yourself or that you're the only one struggling or that you're the only one who needs more money that you're the only one who's lonely in the midnight hour that you're the only one who feels like going back sometime but tell your neighbor you're not the only one because the bible says that paul and silas were locked in chains together and they sang songs and worshiped the Lord. That's what the Bible says, that they worship God, tell somebody together. And so whatever you are bound up with, whatever chains are trying to hold you down, if you would just come in here and worship God with me, if you would lift your hands with me, if you would do a dance with me, if you would exhort the Lord with me, if we would exhort one another together, we can break the chains because the Bible says, says uh, that at midnight there was uh, uh, a great earthquake uh, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken uh, and immediately tell somebody immediately uh, that's why you gotta come in here and worship God uh, because you never know when your immediately moment will arrive uh, and you don't want to miss your immediately moment because you are home uh, oh God soaking and pouting uh, because you are too hungover from the night before to get up and be in place. Uh, tell somebody I gotta live uh, looking for immediately. Uh, I gotta live my life. Tell somebody I'm looking for immediately. He's going to immediately save my children. He's going to immediately give me another job. Uh, he's going to immediately heal my body. Uh, he's going to immediately give me peace of mind. When you don't come in here, you might just miss your immediately moment. Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I believe that just like Paul and Silas got through it together, we can help one another get through it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I promise not to judge you, but I'll help you get through it. Oh, clap your hands. That's a good place to praise him. I promise not to judge you because we all got some stuff. We all got stuff we dealing with. But if you come in here and a tear roll down the corner of your eye when the praise team is singing the praise, I won't try to get in your business. If I could, I would cry with you. But even if I can't shed a tear, I can do a praise. I can grab your hand and say, hold on, my brother. Cheer up, my son sister, uh, live in the sunshine, uh, he'll understand it. We are designed to worship. There's a part of you that will never be satisfied with drugs, never be satisfied with sex, never be satisfied with riotous living. There's a part of you that belongs to God. And your life will go to the next level when you say, here I am. Have all of me. I'm tired of the substitute. I'm tired of the counterfeit. Tell somebody, I need God in my life.